All right, welcome to the sixth edition of the Index Match Array series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a list and resort it based on the values, so a ranked resort. Now, there's quite a few ways to do this, but this method is uh, unique to arrays, and it's also unique to index matches. And the other interesting thing about the method I'm going to show you is we're going to use the exact same formula for the names as we do for the uh, values in the June column. So in this case we have a list of philosophers and economists and we have a list of how many staplers they sold in the month of June. And What I'd like to do is sh basically return that list over here in the correct order. So for instance if we take Adam Smith and we put him down to 120, he should replace John Locke right here. Or, I'm sorry, he should be right above John Locke. Okay, so the first thing we can do is go ahead and delete this table. And it's actually a really simple array. It's not difficult at all. So I guess we should go ahead and begin. I think the first thing we can do is pretty much a large function. So we can go large. Our array is going to be here. I'm going to press F4 to lock it. And I'm going to, for my K value, use a rows. A rows, rows value takes an array and it basically returns the number of rows. So what we can do here is use a one absolute reference and one relative reference. So if I go rows F6 through F6, I close that off and I'm just going to go ahead and make one permanent and I close that off. Control shift. Actually I don't even think you need to do that. Okay so it gives me 450. And let's see what happens if I drag it down. Okay that looks good. Now let's see what happens if I make two of them 450. One thing we're going to need to know is we can't simply do that because if we use this 450 as our match value, we're going to need to differentiate between these two because we don't need uh, Thomas Hobbes popping up twice if m both of them have the same value. So what we actually need to do is add in a rows function. Actually, I'm sorry, add in a row function. So I can go plus row, totally put in the wrong place. I can actually put it here. Go plus row, and I'm just going to highlight this same range lock it, F4, and I'm actually going to divide that by a thousand, just so it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so that gives us our match values. Now what we need to do is use the match function, press F2. Uh, we're going to match this large value within a little array right here. I'm just going to copy that and paste it. And our match type is going to be zero. So I'm going to hit Control Shift Enter, and it should be, give me a number one through seven should be the number. So drag it down, and our smallest number is one, and our largest number is seven. So it tells you we've done everything correctly. So what I can do now is use my index function, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this comma, and then use my match to return the row. Okay, Milton Friedman. 450, he should come up next. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was lock it. So I can go back up here. I can highlight this. I'm going to press F4 twice. And the reason I want to do that is because I actually, I'm sorry, um, I'm going to press F4 three times. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to drag this formula over to June and just copy it down that way. Copy this over, 450, drag it down. And there you go. That's your really really easy way to set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and change some of these numbers. And you can see that this list is now sorted by rank with one formula. So anyway, uh, this is actually a pretty easy one. If you have any questions, you can email me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com. If you'd like me to send you the spreadsheet, do the same thing, or just leave a comment below. Alright, thanks for watching.